going on, guys? This is Will Foreman from Bosco America, my mama's basement. <coughs> Forgive my grandson, but this one, um, I did a review uh, about maybe a couple months back on the Hoover sweeper machines. And basically, I'm going to clean this carpet with my grandson. My daughter stays with me. I'm going to clean the carpet, and I'm going to show you how you know how good these things can be. Now, this floor is going to take a little while because this, this boy didn't got food everywhere. Look at this dude. Look at this. So I'm going to show you how to clean it, and you won't need, you know, really expensive stuff. Just food for thought. I collect a lot of weird things, and um, this one right here, this is actually the ultimate, it's like the ultimate G Kirby. This thing is a vacuum cleaner I found at the flea market with a self-contained bag. I love this thing. This thing works super good. It has a light on the front. Uh, it actually adjusts as well. You can adjust it or you can pull it down and you can adjust it up. This is amazing. So I'm going to, boy, go, move, move, move. I'm going to do this floor and show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, as I was going to show before, um, I'm just going to go through a couple things again before I start that. Boy, get off of there. Boy. Leave my, leave that, go, 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 go play over there. Leave my vacuum alone. Stop. Lewis. That's my grandson. Oh, Lord. Okay, so to open up this actual thing, you have to kind of just pull it down. It has this little lever that comes up. This comes up. And the bottle, you turn it, the bottle actually comes out of there. You want to do it. You know, sometimes it's hard when I do a video. I got to do it with one hand, but hey. And you take the canister out and you fill this with water. Now, if you, as you can see, I'm going to hold it like this so you can see my hand. That's a decent sized little tank. For what I'm going to do, I probably only need half of this to at least wet that spot up over there and go over it a little, you know, again and again. So I'm going to put a solution in here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use and then we can go from there. So hold on, guys. I'm sorry the video is kind of all over the place, but it was kind of... I just pulled it out, so I decided I wanted to do this carpet because uh, my grandson makes a super mess over here. And uh, I'm going to really treat this and see how it comes out. The thing is getting him to move. All right, so once again, usually I just saturate the carpet. Try to spray the areas that most of it be done. And again, you just saturate your carpet the best way you can. And I'm going to show you something I do in the process. Like I have an old knife that I keep. I think it was in here. Here it is. I have an old knife that I keep. And what I like to do is when I so I'm going to set it back here and I'm going to run it for a while. And uh, let's see how how it looks for it. Just kind of give people an idea because, uh, again, these things are Here. pretty neat for me to find one. Here. All right, so all you do is tilt back. Yes. And oh, you got to actually plug it in first. <laughs> I need to plug it in. And the water's coming out already. That's another thing. Once you put it in, the water's coming. A little handle in the back. Once it starts getting wet, it'll actually start cleaning. So again, I just take my time. You control it. Once you get it wet, it gets to moving better. So I'm gonna use it and saturate the floor. And I think this is the weak one, because I have two of them. I have one that's strong and one that's weak. I think this is the weak one, but I couldn't dig out that one, so it looks like I might have to go dig that one out. Uh, yeah, this one's a little weaker, but um, I don't care. It still works. I mean, it's going to be better than what it is. It like. Once you get the water on the floor, that's what you want to do. It looks better already, shit. And I'm going to use this water right and I'm going to saturate it. And like I said, you just saturate it. 
And again, this one here is weird because this one's weaker. Take my little shoot things off. They get wet. No. <laughs> And even if it doesn't, I'm gonna use this thing up anyway. But yeah, this one for some reason is so much weaker than the other one. My other one's powerful. But for what I paid for them, I didn't care. How much did you pay? I think it was a 20 for two of them. And you just take your time. I'm gonna let it sit on this spot for a minute. I'm gonna let it just sit there. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna dig my other one out because this one is, I don't know, this one's older, it's a little bit weaker. So I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull this one out and I'm gonna get my other one out. All right, so set this thing down. And once again, once you take off the tank, the thing super light. You can hit your spots you want to hit. What I do also is I put this thing on the corner so I can knock all the trash out the bottom part, out that side. You can just knock it out in the corner. That's another thing I like to use it for. And then once you get done, you just vacuum it. But as you can see, it comes out really well. The only way I know how to use this is I used to clean carpets. That's why I know how to use it, but anybody can use it. It's very friendly. And I set it on that spot for a few minutes to see what happens. Looks like it ain't going nowhere. Spins out. Yeah, that's probably Alright. So as you can see, this thing does an excellent job. Like I said, there's still crumbs on the floor, but usually I put the buffer pad just a little bit on the corner so when you hit one of these, you can knock all the crumbs out. Because my grandson got crumbs everywhere. So I'm gonna vacuum it and then show you the complete process what's done. All right, so I actually messed around and did it a little longer. And if you remember, if you looked at the beginning of the video, what this floor looked like. And I actually messed around and did all the floor. I couldn't take it no more. Look at that. The thing does a great job for what it's worth. And I found two of these at the flea market. And again, it's just one of those deals. And thank goodness that the guy who actually, you know, brought me the rest of the parts to this that he did. Such a nice guy. Um, like I said, I think these are floor for the floor. And I have no idea what those are. I, I have to look it up. But once again, man. I enjoy going to the flea market. I find such good stuff. I find really good deals, and you can't do nothing but do it. But look how that floor looks. Beautiful. When you walk in, it's clean. And I'm going to put some tiles down here because that's where I saturated the word set because I know my grandson going to run over here. So that's it, guys. I hope this helps someone. All right. Take care. I hope this helps somebody. And um, like I said, look at that. That's beautiful. All right, guys. Later. All right, so just to let you know, this is the water from those brushes that I just got done using. Let you look at that. And all I did was just soak the brushes in some water. And you can see down there, that's how dirty that is. And that's how easy you can take care of the brushes, you know, on those machines. I keep this pan exclusively for that. And I just toss it in my closet. And that's exactly what I use when I, um, Ah, put that in there. It's a mess in there. And then I let these sit out and they dry. But also, let me show you this. Just soaking those little buffer pads or my pineapple pads in water. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. I wouldn't know where to get these at, but thank, thank the goodness for that guy bringing those. Just squeeze them out and I'm going to set them to the side. All right, guys. Again, I keep saying, hope this helps someone. Later.